Hey guys, how's it going? Been a long time since I've uh, uploaded a video, but I did want to uh, come at you with the new God of War Collector's Edition. I uh, just came in, I haven't even, barely even looked at it. So uh, we're gonna unbox it here, take a look at what it comes with, what kind of quality it is. Um, and then uh, we'll talk about each piece a little bit. And then we'll get into a review later um, on a separate video, but I just wanted to uh, upload this and show you what's going on. So uh, welcome, thank you. So to start, we gotta actually look at the box. So here, I'm gonna set you down. We're gonna take a quick look at the box. So here it is, the God of War Collectors. And this is a big boy. Uh, <clears throat> shows you what's all inside of it. Just show you the box right here. I mean, it is a, it is a beast. That is for sure. So uh, it's rated M for mature. All right, so let's <clears throat> open this up. Sorry, I don't got a very big place right now. Our thing's set up for, you know, doing this, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll make it work, right? So I gotta cut all these different little tabs off. Like I said, I haven't even barely looked at it. The box is pretty big. Right, that's got another box on the inside, of course. Slow to come out. All right, so here we go. We got the uh, treasure chest. Pretty cool. Move you back here a little bit. All right. So we got a couple of doors here. Well, that's pretty neat, huh? Well, pretty, pretty neat. Woohoo! There is the hammer. This thing is massive. All right. Plastic here. All right. All right, there it is. Let's look at this. That is pretty dang big. A lot of detail. It's fairly heavy. It's feels like a PVC product. Got all the different sides here. It's got a leather, thin leather band around the fake wood. Plastic, it's all plastic. Hollow too. I feel like the uh, God of War for the PS, you know, was it 2016? The uh, statue that came with that was a little bit better quality than this. I mean, it's definitely hollow. Feels kind of cheap, actually. But man, is it cool. A lot of little details in the little runes. These little things right here. And it's the same on all, all sides. The top. The pommel. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I mean, it's not... It's not bad. It's just, you know, I, I expected a little bit better quality after the, the last one. All right, so now it looks like this top part pops out. Not really sure. Oh, let me grab this lid off of here. It is on there. Oh, sorry about that. It is on there tight. So, here we go. It's got uh, a little bag. Of course, it's got a little tape on there. Don't eat these. So, there's a little, the dice that come with it. Ooh, now, let me tell you what. These dice. These are nice feeling dice. They feel... Mm, they're plastic. They're supposed to be wood. But they're definitely plastic. But, they feel nice in my hands. 
Um, they're not evenly cut, so I wouldn't recommend trying to use these with any type of actual important game. <laughs> I mean, if you look at that, I don't know if you can see, it's not really that well cut or molded. It's pretty easy to see in real, in, the, in person. But there's it's pretty cool. I mean, they're pretty cool. It's too bad they couldn't just make them out of wood. This one's got a chip out of it. For the amount of money that you spend on this, uh, I, I this is warped. <laughs> That's funny. Um, this one's like almost missing all the wood texture. It's just flat plastic. <laughs> the one in... I, I'm, I'm really... I'm impressed by this. I mean, come on, Santa Monica Studios. You generally do a lot better quality stuff than this. This is, unfortunately, uh, probably your worst quality one. Now, we got these little plastic wood, I mean, um, figures. This is probably one of the cooler pieces. I definitely think that is really well done i mean it's plastic it's supposed to be wood for you know 200 whatever bucks this thing cost you probably could have afforded to actually make these out of wood you can see the seams oh man but still even these are pretty pretty awesome i think that's pretty cool And then, of course, the uh, steel case with no game in it. Oh, I don't want to. Okay, so it comes with uh, your codes for your game and the digital content. Pretty, I mean, steel case is, is pretty awesome. So, there we go. That's, I mean, literally everything that's in this thing. So, you have, that's what you get for 200 This box is kind of cool, too. So, uh, I will be playing this game, recording some footage. I'm going to do a review on it. I might even, uh, this weekend, jump on Twitch and try to get on there. Um, but, so, yeah. So, that's that's our, uh, our collector's edition. We got the hammer, the dice. The little figures, I don't remember what they're actually called. Um, they're just the veneer twin carvings. Um, Mjolnir, of course. The Dwarven Dice Set. And Knowledge Keeper Shrine. Oh, that's this. Um, so that's it. That's that's the whole collector's edition. So uh, hopefully my uh, other edition will be in here shortly, and I'll be able to do an unboxing of that. So we got both of them up there, and hopefully I'll have a little bit better... Um, set up for that one but uh thanks for watching the video guys like subscribe comment down below uh tell me uh how, did you pick it up uh, what tradition did you get uh, are you looking forward to getting it eventually what did you think of uh this collector's edition anyway let me know down below and uh thanks for watching